became whatever. They became yeah. a mailman, they became a doctor, they became an engineer, and they're looking forward to playing. And, and many times you have to skip past the 20 to 40 years. That's when they're building their family, that's when they're building their career, that's when they're building the practice yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. And now they're kind of established. Yeah. And they're a doctor or they're a lawyer in town, and they're looking over and they're saying, you know, I used to play that trumpet. Well, you're not going to get into the Binghamton Symphony. There's a good <laughs> chance you're not going to play that. Yeah. But but we want you, and there's no audition. We just want you to come and play. And I get calls from those people all the time. So there's no audition? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Come, I said, you'll figure it out. You yeah. come and play. And we've had people come and who are just stunning and wonderful players. I have a, a gentleman that called me, and he said, I'd like to get back into playing. I haven't played for about 30 years. Could I play trumpet? And I said, sure. He said, what do I have to do? And I said, you have to have a trumpet, and you have to show up. <laughs> and I found out. And again, I'm going to stay away from my names, but... Uh, he's a, a, a graduate of the Juilliard Conservatory. He's a phenomenal trumpet player. He's got credentials up and down both yeah, arms, yeah. and he doesn't. Pull, you know, he's retired, and he yeah. just wanted a place to play yeah. trumpet. Yeah. And he brings his wife, who plays bassoon. I mean, my gosh! And uh. so that's what I keep saying. And I tell people whenever I get a chance that uh, if you're the Binghamton University band, we we talked about right, that before right. too. This is such a maybe 2% are music majors, yeah. but they're all players. They all have a passion for music. Yep. So I say, when you become the doctor, you become a lawyer, you get out to wherever it is in that town. Hold on to your music. Find the community yeah. band. If there isn't one, find a retired teacher or somebody and, and organize one, yeah. make it yep. happen. Yep. The other thing that I want to talk about today is uh, the, <coughs> the cabaret uh, circuit yeah. um, that kind of grew up um, <coughs> without much planning or intention. I mean, it just kind of happened, uh, but this is, going on in three churches right now and probably at a fourth to do a cabaret at the church is kind of a fundraiser, community builder. Mm -hmm. uh, what, tell me about that. Well, there, right now there are three churches that do the same kind of thing, an evening of entertainment. Uh, and, and you're exactly right. It's, it's how, again, how I got involved is um, Christ Church in Binghamton. That's the church right across the street from um, Lost Dog. Yeah. Uh, they are doing a cabaret. Susan McLennan used to sing with the BC. By Pops. the way, it used to be that the lost dog was right across the street from the Christ Church. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, so it's there. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, Susan used to sing with the BC Pops, and yeah. she's a joy, and she's a, f a fun person. She's a great singer, and um, uh, she knew that I. And I, when I use the word dabble, I mean really dabble in magic. But I enjoy doing some magic, and she asked me to to kind of separate all the singers. Could I come and? and do a magic trick. Uh, sure, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. And, um, and at the same show, the person who always does her announcing was sick. And then she said, would you mind announcing the acts? And that's how I kind of got involved as the announcer. But I thought, what a neat idea. They're just raising money for something that the church is doing. Yeah. Something that, yeah. uh, that, that and I even, they have different projects that they use it for. And um, it's a great night. People have a ton of fun and they go and, and her entertainers are very good people again, who are just available. She's had um, Jerry Graham from the Tri-Cities uh, Tri Opera at times and, and local people in her church. Yeah. And uh, so then from there, one of the singers was also uh, Johanna Kiley, now Johanna Kiley Hickey. And she's the principal at George F. Johnson Elementary School. Wonderful singer, completely different. Susan is show tunes and, and, and uh, you could see Susan on Broadway and I could see Johanna in Vegas yeah. and that kind of a yeah. thing. More of a, her and a piano player would be a wonderful lounge act that, and yeah. she, she performs all the time with Burt Mueller. Well, they have one at uh, All Saints Church in Johnson City. So we met there, they said, would I like come to come down and do theirs? And so we did and, and that's when the Union Presbyterian Church used to do an auction and it was just for the members of the church would show up. Yeah. I said, why don't we try one of these performance nights and see if we can get more people involved. And yeah. uh, so now there's three. And at our show this year, we had uh, Reverend uh, Sean Towns from the Valley View Church in Vestal. And he brought the place down. He was That's what amazing. I heard. Yes. Oh, he was, yeah. what a talent. Yeah. And uh, you don't ever like to tell a pastor that he's in the wrong field and that he should be singing, but <laughs> my goodness, he's really wonderful. Yeah. And he had suggested that maybe Vestal ought to have one so that we would have Binghamton, Johnson City, Endicott, and then right, Vestal. Right. But uh, so we're hoping. Yeah. But it's, it's, a, it's just a wonderful night where people on that, again, that really quality people who didn't choose that path, mm -hmm. who are doing other things with their lives and having, raising families and having kids and teaching school, get a chance to just perform. And I think the best part about it is everybody who's asked to perform sings 
or performs one thing on the first half and one thing on the second half, and they all, they don't go back to the green room or someplace. Right. They all sit in the audience to enjoy everybody else's work. Yes. Yeah. And that's just so much fun. They, you sing your song and you go sit down and you watch the magic trick and you watch the trumpet player and, and uh, there's a, a huge bank of, mus of performers that we can draw from. And so I've seen uh, at, at the, the one of the Presbyterian Church in Endicott, I've seen some people do their, uh, like the UE musical, that they right. come and do a, a selection from their musical. Yep. So that's kind of bringing the church and community together too and giving them a chance to right. try something out. The fall ones, ours in the fall and hopefully Vestal in fall, is when the kids are getting ready for their music, or their spring ones rather, is when they're getting ready for their musicals. Yeah. And so they're out there and yeah. they would love an opportunity to do it one more time or a practice session. And so we've been very lucky. We had uh, Maine Enwell's performer this year, they're doing Buddy Holly. Uh, this month, in fact, I think it's yeah. the 29th, and um, and we've had UE performers perform before too, and it's it's always great. It brings more people, more interest, and shows that uh, the churches are wonderful places for community. Right. Are, are there things coming up that you want to mention? I do. It, it's the April 21st is the one at Christ Church uh, in Binghamton, right. and uh, that should be an exciting and, and interesting show. Uh, we all draw from each other, so some of the people that just performed at our show we'll be performing there but not all of them uh the one of the nicest things is it at the union presbyterian show uh pat robb performed and mm -hmm. has performed she's the pastor there and she's a wonderful singer as well but but now she's accepted an invitation to go to christ church and sing, sing there. so yeah. and then the reverend towns was at, at union presbyterian so i like that too it brings the people together it brings the church families together it is an ecumenical circuit absolutely yeah. Yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. so so uh, Let's go back and, and look quickly at your, when did you first pick up an instrument? When did you, was trombone your first choice? No, no, my dad was a great trumpet player. Dad played in the United States Army Band. He was the first trumpet player in the Army Band and played jazz on the weekends in New Orleans at the Officers Club. Uh, I want to be a trumpet player just like my dad. He was yeah. kind of my hero. And, um, and my high school band director was a good friend of my dad's and also a trumpet player. I went in, picked up the trumpet. That's what I was going to be in about a year later. Um, he talked to my dad, his good friend, and said, it's not going to happen. This is not a trumpet player. You did not give birth to a trumpet player. But I would like to try the trombone. Yeah. And it seemed to click. Yeah. And that's where, that's where it started. And yeah. I'm passionate about music. I just love performing. And I, and I love playing music. Music is kind of where, uh, it's for me, I think we all have doubts sometimes about about all the stuff we believe and where is God and is he, and, and I can find him in my music. Uh, so whenever yes. there's a question, whenever there's a concern, I can turn to music and know for sure. Yeah. And yeah. That's, I, whether I'm conducting the band or listening to Mozart or, or watching Susan McLennan sing a Broadway yeah. show tune, yeah. I can understand. I remember my daughter was taking <laughs> piano lessons from, from my wife Joan, uh, who was a church musician. and. Uh, 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 not, not the greatest idea to teach your own kids music. Yes. But um, Wendy would come home from school and would go into the living room and close the, whatever, these French doors. Yeah. And close herself off and she would just play. It was like, like letting the day wash by her. Mm -hmm. I don't think she plays anymore. She might be able to, but, but I think that what a gift that is for music, mm -hmm. either to perform it and play it and play your heart out or to simply listen to it and yeah. let the music lift you up or, mm -hmm. or calm you down? We, we had one more thing with the Vestal Community Band. There was a founder in the band. He's now passed away. But um, one day, we were getting to rehearsal. I sit in the chair in front of the band. They're all coming in and getting collected. And one of the girls from the band came up to me and faced me directly and said, um, this gentleman's wife had passed away that day. At 10 o'clock that morning, she had died. And I looked over her shoulder and I said, but he's, but he's, he's here. here. Yeah. Didn't, you know, someone should tell him. Uh, you know, and, yeah. and, she, yeah. and she said, no, I know. He doesn't want you to say anything. He doesn't want anybody to know. As nobody knows yet. It's not out yet. Right. The family's coming into town. He just said he has to be here. Yeah. He had to be here. This is, he had to be with his family. He had to be with music. And so if you just would kindly say nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And then next just, week we'll just talk let about him be. it. Yes. But the, again, he had to be with music and with family and this community 
uh, that day. Yep. And uh, it's special. So April 21st is the next cabaret at right. Christ Church in, Correct. in Binghamton. In Binghamton. And then uh, we can look forward to the uh, community band, the Vestal Community Band playing. All summer long. Uh, Thursday nights at 6.30. That's important. We've always played at 7. Ah, and we yeah. always get too dark at the end and have to wrap <laughs> up some. So we've moved everything to 6.30 now at Arnold Park in Vestal. Um, the second, third, and fourth Thursday of July and August. Right. And they start when? And uh, uh, you know, second, third, and fourth Thursday at 6.30. Starting at, in June. And in, in July. In July. July. Okay. Okay. Second, third, and fourth Thursday, July and August. Great. And Great. so, and it's, it's always fun to go there. It's like you said, it's nostalgia. It's a slice of Americana. It's a oh, it is. beautiful setting. Yep. There's a gorgeous pavilion. Yep. I'm, I look forward to it. And every rain year. or shine, I guess. And it's yes, rain or shine. Yep. And this year, uh, we are hosting the group from La Teste France again, the jazz band. Wow. And they will be there for two concerts in August. Wonderful. A little yeah. exchange program going yep. on. Our guest has been Jerry Natoli. I knew this would go quickly and uh, yeah. such an easy conversation. Um, Jerry Natoli is the uh, conductor and the music director of the Vestal Community Band. He's been doing that for 25 years and also is um, an entertainment entrepreneur uh, <laughs> helping to bring together these cabarets at our local churches. Thank you for joining us for the Encounter Program. My name is Jeff Kellum and uh, uh, it's wonderful to have you with us. And our thanks to WBNG for the production facilities and for WMBF Radio for carrying the audio portion of our program. I hope that in the coming week you will be gentle with people and of course with yourself. We'll see you again next week on Encounter. Thank you.